Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So, first of all, a big thanks to all of you guys for your support to the channel. Since I asked you to start commenting and liking and sharing the video, it is helping uh, the videos a lot. So, please, please, guys, keep pushing those uh, like buttons. Add a comment is very, very important and even more important if you can share the video so once again a big thanks to all of you for your support to the channel let's get started so as usual we are looking at the Dixie weekly time frame and we saw that last week uh, the Dixie did um, uh, dive to the downside we ended up with an inside bar bearish candle uh, now if we check the only on the weekly time frame we still see that the market uh, here is still trending in a bullish trend with higher highs and higher lows but uh, what happened on friday was a huge move to the downside especially during the um, press conference from powell and we saw that uh, the dixie did break out of the bullish channel okay moved lower uh, still no break up below this uh, key swing low down here but during the week we've got a higher low that got broken here on friday with a uh, strong break below this which means there is not much of support now on the daily time frame until the market reached this level down here at around the 92.50 is the next level of interest going down to a lower time frame we see that on the four hour this support here got broken and we have a break under the 200 moving average on the four hour and uh, yeah if we check to the left here we see there is not much on the way until the dollar reach this level of uh, potential support this swing here is an important swing as i mentioned last week we do have this trend ongoing and if this also gets broken we're gonna see 92 once again which was a very important level of support so short term the next uh, target for the bears uh, gonna be the 9250 down here and uh, <clears throat> the normal thing to see now after this uh, strong break below is that the week may start by a correction to the upside there was a huge move here it need to do a little bit of a correction and i'm thinking that we might see uh, early next week a correction back up to this broken uh, structure now if uh, the bears to defend this level once again you might see bearish evidence here and one more leg toward uh, the 9250 uh, area if the bulls gonna fight and really push this market back up they need to break hold above this level to then make another attempt to uh, move toward this area but again guys this uh, here was a huge move to the downside with a break so the textbook will say after such a break we look for a retest and maybe one more leg to the downside so keep an eye on that scenario gold doing the opposite of um, uh, the dollar uh, still trending nicely to the upside after this retest here kept pushing higher the bullish momentum and the daily candles uh, with a bullish um, momentum uh, is very strong as you see the market did uh, break and close above the 200 moving average on the daily uh, last friday and now there was a couple of times here that the market did that and then failed to hold and push back down uh, but what's interesting here that we also have a break above previous swing high so this structure is still a bullish structure and with this close above we might still see another attempt to tag these previous highs at around 1833 area so we go down to four hour time frame and we see pretty quickly that this break here now is uh, a nice area of interest and um, uh, might uh, 
wait next week to see if there will be a, a little bit of a correction down retest of the broken structure watch that level for a potential bullish evidence for the potential continuation so pretty interesting and i think now <clears throat> after this break here uh, the bulls might be interested to tag these previous highs once again <coughs> oil uh, also still bullish um, short term uh, after um, a uh, bearish um, sequence here we still see uh, the market having a nice momentum seems like we uh, do not have much of uh, resistance here until uh, we start reach around the 70 area going down to four hour time frame we see that it starts to slow down a little bit but still it is crawling to the upside slowly i think the bullish uh, market objective is to tag this 70 level once again so um next week keep an eye on this to um, potentially continue higher and when and if they reach the 70 that is the level to watch for potential trouble because uh, this is gonna be a nice level of interest for both uh, sides the bulls are willing to tag that level potentially as a pot uh, profit taking area the bears are watching this level to continue this uh, previous move to the downside here and then um, push it uh, further down so this is gonna be the fighting area at around the 70 keep an eye on that level UUSD <clears throat> the opposite of the Dixie so the last move was a break to the downside we were expecting some kind of a correction and continuation but as you see the market uh, did the higher low here and kept pushing higher break above previous high now <clears throat> the key level is gonna be this previous high here because this is a major swings if we check this and uh, the move back down here this give us a major swing here that gonna be important for this uh, trend if the bearish trend this bearish trend to be invalid they need to break above uh, this area here this major swing so still uh, that is not the case it is about to tag this previous high if you check on the four hour time frame you see that I marked this level as a key area so I'm watching this level for next week if they fail to break higher we might see a rotation back down uh, to the downside and we might look to potentially sell it but if the bulls to really continue higher break above the previous high and on the retest hold above it we might see one more leg toward 1.19 on this market okay so even though I was uh, bearish on uh, the euro, we need to also adapt and consider what's going on. And checking the four hour time frame at the moment, there is a uh, micro trend with uh, higher highs and higher lows on this market. Now, one could argue that this is a correction of this leg here, but a V shaped correction like this is. Uh, <clears throat> always something to watch and see if we are gonna need to adapt and that's why I'm saying that if we see the break happening here above previous high especially on the daily time frame we need to have a uh, plan to think that we might see this market continuing higher anyway okay so that's why I'm mentioning this level to watch sterling also same scenario now uh, the difference here the euro did break below previous low on the daily time frame while for the sterling there was no break below previous low the um, level did hold as support the market never broke uh, below previous low uh, we are trading below the 200 moving average but the structure was still intact there was never a break below that and we've got a higher low now here one higher low now this is not enough to say that we gonna move all the way up again but it is an early sign that the bulls are trying there is good momentum look at the size of the bullish candles and uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we've had this impulse there was this ugly move here a break out to the upside break to the downside to then see the market going one more to the upside with a break and close above this previous high on the daily so now if the bulls manage to stay above this area here next week I'm thinking that they might attempt to break and continue higher maybe to tag these previous highs or to the top of the uh, range so this is very important and uh, for the bearish side i want to see the market breaking below this level because this now might start being a uh, 
some kind of a range so if they manage to break below this low okay then i will uh, change my mind and start looking for the continuation yeah but if that is not the case especially a continuation and a hold above this area here i'm looking for potential uh, continuation to the upside next week as well <clears throat> usd chappy nothing new here still um, <clears throat> chopping around here as you see in this area and if we go down to the one hour time frame we see it clearly this market is uh, going sideways inside this range and uh, nothing has changed here we should keep playing the same here selling the high of the range buying the lows waiting for some kind of a breakout so next week if we reach this level and you get bullish evidence you might get one move to the upside now if they fail to hold the level and breaks this time the next target gonna be 109 um, uh, 10 area down here this previous swing low gonna be an important level if we check the four hour time frame you see how uh, nice of a move we had from this area so again if they break below the range target gonna be 109.10 to then see if the bulls will enter here <coughs> uh, usd chief also um, consolidation and a sideways move checking the daily <coughs> there is a pressure to the downside and right now sitting at support but the candle on friday who had an ugly one uh, bearish candle bearish engulfing checking the four hour time frame it is trading at around that support level any stronger break below these areas here that will uh, consider continuation toward this low so it will look something like this but as for now i'm not considering this level to be broken and after such a huge move at the end of the week i'm expecting also some kind of a correction for this leg here so uh, <clears throat> i'm not expecting this market to just open and keep pushing lower we might start see a little bit of a correction here the big question how far of a correction we might expect is it toward this level here or toward this neckline so one of these areas gonna be the level to watch for uh, the correction here if it goes slowly like this with a slow momentum i'm looking uh, for a potential one more sell from this area on usd chief usd cat also back down sitting at support checking the daily time frame this market was looking good with um, higher highs and higher and higher lows to then push lower the main trend on the daily is still in, uh, is still intact in my opinion but again last friday this push here was not so good sign for uh, for the bulls but all in all it is testing once again this uh, support area still trading above the 200 moving average on the daily uh, so there is still a little bit of a chance but the way it looks right now especially on a break below these previous lows if that would be the case we get a break below below the lows and the 200 moving average the next move gonna be either toward this low down here or even further down so where the market testing at the moment gonna be a key level for uh, the bulls to defend so keep an eye on that area to see if they will show up down down here okay and uh, see if they're gonna defend this level and push the market once again to the upside or if they fail we look for continuation lower Aussie uh, broke out uh, of the correction that we um, were expecting so we were looking at this level as first to be the the resistance uh, in my weekly uh, uh, forecast last week I said look for this level as first for potential um, trouble and continuation now they managed to break above it hold above it and now they are retesting the key structure that been broken if we go back to the daily this here is uh, the key structure that been broken the last move was a strong break to the downside so we still could watch this area here for potential trouble the market is still trading below the 200 moving average on the four hour that been acting as you see here nicely as both a support and resistance uh, been holding as support and then start acting resistance this whole time and it is still below it so uh, keep an eye on the broken range here next week the 200 moving average previous swings here 
this area here next week gonna be very important to see if they gonna fail and then start rotating down for more upside <clears throat> I want to see this market pushing back above the 200 moving average holding inside the range to then start looking for continuation toward these previous highs okay and uh, New Zealand this one is more um, clear here that they went inside the range the price is far above the mid of the range now it is looking like it is getting accepted here with a higher low and a continuation candle on friday so this is more established and uh, the same uh, need to happen on here on the aussie um, as it happened here we've got and uh, the market went back inside the range broke above the 200 moving average above previous highs and there is not much looking left to hold as resistance so now this market is uh, potentially targeting the top of the range once again so early next week we should be watching for a little bit of a correction maybe a retest of this broken structure if we get bullish evidence you might look for a continuation move to the top here on new zealand usd and that will be it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye